Hey everyone, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about my March and April favorites. You guys wanted to see favorites videos, but you would prefer them a little bit more spaced out, so that is what we are doing today. Two months of favorites. Let's jump in because there really is a lot to talk about. So summer is right around the corner, and the first item I wanted to talk about is a product that I've been using on my face to really give me a nice bronzy glow. Very reminiscent of like the D bronzy from Drunk Elephant if you are familiar with that product, but this formula I think would work for more people and it is the Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Sun Glow. So Say had mentioned on TikTok between like Say and Rudy Berry who I love so much, they talked about this as a product to use to give your face a nice all over bronzy glow if you didn't want to self tan your face, which if you guys are familiar, I don't really self tan my face. I do have a couple of items that I'm probably going to try out for you guys just to see if there's an option I can give you guys. But when I heard about that, I decided to pick this up and I am incredibly glad that I did. So I'm using it today. Obviously I have foundation over it, but it just really does such an excellent job of adding a layer of that bronze glow without a lot of extra heavy product. And that is something that I feel like a lot of like bronzy glowy primers like L'Oreal Glotion or even like the MAC strobe cream. Those are all more cream textures. Even the debronzy serum is a little bit more creamy in my opinion. This is more like a gel moisturizer kind of texture and I really like it because it's not adding a lot of emollients under the products that I have going on because sometimes in the summer you guys you know not all of us want a lot of emollient layers on the skin and this I feel is just so perfect for those of you that want to add that glow to the skin you don't like using self tanners or let's say like you need to go out and run errands but you don't want to put on makeup you can just add a little bit of this onto the skin and it'll kind of even everything out that's what I've been doing and I have really really been loving it this is certainly a product that I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this summer. And I feel like it's also really awesome, you know, when your self tan starts to fade, to add just a little bit of this to like the neck and chest if you need to even everything out. It's going to work beautifully for that as well. So um, this isn't a total favorite yet, but I did use the Bali Body One Hour Express and I'm really, really happy with the self tanner. I can't like give it my 100% full stamp of approval, but sometimes you guys ask about what self tanners I'm using. That one I'm very, very impressed with uh, so far, but if there are any that you would like me to try out and report back on like a roundup video, I'm planning on doing a roundup video. If you have those products that you want me to try, leave them down below. Speaking of summer items, so I'm going to kind of jump around with makeup, some fragrance, um, skincare, all sorts of stuff. Some of you might know that I picked up this product from Topicals. It is the High Roller Ingrown Hair Tonic. Because recently I've been getting ingrown hairs on my armpits and it's really annoying and very painful if they're really bad, obviously. So I picked this up. In a case it happened again, I wanted to have this on hand and it did happen again. So I was able to actually try this out. But if you're interested in a before and after of me using this, here it is. I was blown away how overnight this just took down all of the redness, really cleared up the ingrowns. I was like, what? Like that is so awesome. And by two uses, they were pretty much gone. That made me a true believer in this from the first use. So it uses salicylic and glycolic acid, but there's also niacinamide and zinc PCA in here. One thing I wanted to note very quickly about this is that if you are using this in an area that gets a lot of sun exposure, make sure that you are using sunscreen. So if you like use this on the legs, for example, um, I would just make sure that you go in with sunscreen because when you're using a chemical exfoliant, you have to be extra careful with that. Now I have quite a few lip products. Um, I'm not gonna mention all the lip products at once, just kind of give you guys a breather, but this is by far my favorite lip product that I have found this year, and they are the Merit Signature Lips. Wow. So I have four. I just recently talked about these, so I'm not going to stick here for way too long. But if you are a fan of a more sheer lipstick that's more on the stiff side, but still has a really great glide to it, 
that is this formula. I am incredibly impressed with it. I love how lightweight it is. It doesn't feel like a really balmy lipstick, a really glossy lipstick, but it doesn't feel like a really drying matte lipstick. It is just such a perfect formula. I'm really hoping on doing a comparison, like comparing this to some of the more sheer lipsticks that I've recently picked up. I need to do some more testing though. And honestly, it's been kind of hard to test other lip items because I've just just been loving these so much. I absolutely love these and if you are like me and you love a sheer lipstick and you don't always want something that's really rich and balmy and glossy and you're not a huge fan of like more of a drying kind of matte lipstick look, these are absolutely perfection. I have four different shades. If there's a shade that I don't have that you think would be particularly pretty on my skin tone, leave it down below and then maybe I will, I mean maybe I will, I will probably pick it up. I have a whole merit video by the way coming uh, very soon. Just need to finish up testing. You guys, I have so, like I'm inundated with new products. So if there is something in specific that you are interested in, you really have to leave me a comment because I feel like at this point, I don't know if I'm going to be able to review all of it, at least not for like a few months. So if there's something that feels a little bit timely to you, leave it down below. I've talked about this product for a really long time, but I wanted to quickly mention, you know, now that summer's around the corner, my favorite powder bronzer, and it is the one by Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Bronzer, and this is the shade Light. I am wearing the shade Light, even though I did self-tan. And, you know, I think it is a little bit light for when I am self-tan. However, when I am not, it is perfection. And the formula, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. I have tried a lot a lot of powder bronzers. I, I find that many of them have too much pigment. There is no going back with a really pigmented powder bronzer. It's going to look muddy and it's going to look choppy. And if it doesn't have a gorgeous blend, it, I find that a choppy bronzer look can really it feels like it ruins my makeup. Rather than, you know, if my mascara, I feel like doesn't look as great, you know, I'm not gonna take off my entire face of makeup for that. But if my bronzer looks really choppy, that is something that I will like actually be kind of peeved about. Anyway, so if you're a fan of a really buildable, lightweight, very thin texture that isn't super slippy and silicone-y because I mean, I have like a love-hate relationship with really silicone heavy products. I think sometimes they're really beautiful and sometimes they just don't want to stick to the skin. All of that being said is this, this is absolutely gorgeous, super finely milled, blendable, buildable. You have very fair skin too. I think that this is going to be a good product for you again, cause you can kind of build up the pigment, but they do have other shades. And I'm kind of interested now in picking up the shade light medium for when I am self tanning. Now the eyeshadow that I'm wearing on my eyes today is the Stila Glisten and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Now, if you have not watched my new video on my favorite wet looking eyeshadows, I will leave it linked down below, but you guys should definitely go check out that video. This was one of my new finds and I am, I've just been so impressed with these. So I have a bunch of different shades. I'll leave the swatches up. But if you are looking for a liquid eyeshadow that will give you the most pretty translucent, glossy, glittery eye look, this to me is it. And the shades are on point. I love that I was able to find a liquid glitter product that sets down. So these are definitely more long wearing, but when they set down, they don't, it doesn't take away from the glossiness of the product. And that is something that's very hard to find. I also like that the shades are very wearable. I often find with liquid glitter shadows that are more wet looking, they tend to be in more like duochrome uh, colors, which aren't as easy to incorporate into, you know, everyday looks. So I love that all of these shades are super wearable. The only thing that I have on my eyes today is the shade Stream. It's blended out. And again, it's just like that beautiful translucent liquid shadow. I do feel like, you know, because this isn't a super rich base pigmented product, it might be something to get used to for some of you that are used to like very rich base pigment liquid eyeshadows, like the original Stila formula, for example. But if you are a lover of those wet eyeshadows, I definitely think that they are worth checking checking out. I have been gatekeeping this product since it came out and I'm so glad that the uh, cat's out of the bag now so that I can keep talking about it. Especially because no one has been talking about these. I mean, um, I mentioned that in the last video and you guys are like, well, they look like just the regular ones. And I'm like, you're so right. 
Shall we talk about a few fragrances really fast? So I picked up three different fragrances recently and I love all of them. So that is so refreshing. I definitely am a little bit more picky when it comes to fragrance, but I know what I like. And all three of these, I really adore. So let's first talk about the fragrance that I absolutely love. This is Fleur Missing Person. The smell is like one of those really gorgeous skin musk kind of smells. This is definitely one of those like white musk heavy fragrances. So if you are a fan of something like Glossier U, this is very similar to that. That's like the first fragrance that comes to mind. To me, it smells like warm laundry, like fresh out of the dryer laundry but like you put it on and those smells kind of melt into the skin. It's, for me, it's like the most cozy, sexy, but still not heavy kind of fragrance. It's really perfect for every day, perfect for, you know, nighttime or daytime. Absolutely, absolutely could not be happier with it. And I am pretty sure that now it's back in stock because it was out of stock for a really long time. So I have the travel size. I feel like I need to either get the full size or pick up another travel size and share it with my sister because um, I think that she would really like this one too. Speaking of my sister, we actually went to Credo together. Um, how long ago was that? That was a while ago. And we both smelt this Heretic Dirty Coconut and we both absolutely loved it. But it's not the most, you know, cheap thing out there. So I picked it up during the Sephora Savings event. And oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. I feel like I might as well also um, talk about the Skylar Coconut Cove because I also picked this up and I've really been loving it. So I will do like a quick comparison for you guys. So if you want something that feels more, feels more like a vanilla coconut kind of smell, like a little bit sweeter, but definitely has that kind of touch of woodiness to it to kind of even out. If that sounds like your jam, that is when I would recommend Heretic Dirty Coconut. I feel like this is the perfect like nighttime fragrance, like just a little, again, it's like a little bit dirtier for like the nighttime. It just has a touch of that like tropical woody kind of smell going on. I mean, I would wear this during the daytime obviously too, like I like something that has a touch of musk to it. But if you do prefer something in that arena, I would go with this. But if you want something that has a little bit more of that coconut, like sunscreen beach kind of smell, something that's a little bit lighter, then that's when I would recommend the Coconut Cove from Skylar. I love both. This one is very reminiscent of um, Vacation. If you guys are familiar with that fragrance, that's another one that I absolutely love. I'll leave it down below. But this one I think has even more coconut. I think um, Vacation is a little bit more tropical, a little bit more juicy fruit, sunscreen kind of smell. And this one is a little bit more true coconut, sunscreen, beach, salt kind of thing going on. I feel like I found like three fragrances I absolutely love in the last couple of months and I'm just all about it. So if you're thinking of picking out a new fragrance um, for the upcoming summer months, um, those are some of the options and the ones I've been trying and loving. Now, another lit favorite that I have been truly enjoying are the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps, but specifically the shade Honey Suckle. This is essentially, for me, this product is like the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss Balm, except it's like a lip plumper. And this is a touch um, juicier than that product. It has a little bit more glossiness to it, but it's super similar. So if you're a fan of that, then there's a good chance I think you would like these as well. Now this shade Honeysuckle is absolutely gorgeous, very similar to like, someone mentioned this in my comments, very similar to like Black Honey from Clinique. Totally agree, totally love this color. And I just find that it's one of those shades that is going to look, again, it's going to look good and beautiful on everyone. I love that the plumpness of this product, like the tingle itself is not overwhelming. So that is great. It's more, I would say, it definitely has a touch of the pepperminty lip tingle thing going on, 
but like straight out of the tube you can't really smell it at all it's just such a nice kind of hybrid item you know it's that more like balmy juicy glossy lipstick that's more on the sheer side but adding that plumpness to it just I feel like it makes for a very well-rounded item and it's a item that is offering a lot. I will say that some of the shades can look a little bit milky on me in the sense of I can see them kind of you know settling into my lip lines I never get that with this but some of the other shades have like more white base pigment to them I'm personally someone that that like really irritates me but then I know a lot of people that don't care about it at all but if you're someone like me I would stick with the shade honeysuckle I am gonna try some of the other shades I don't think it happens with more of the rose like plummy shades but whereas like those really light nude shades, I would like for me personally, I wouldn't use them. Okay, but before we talk about more makeup, I have some hair care. I wanna talk about something that I don't know if I've ever talked about on my channel, which is nails. I do my nails at home. This is a gel. I use the Beetle Gel UV Lamp Set. I will leave it linked down below. I think that it is like such a freaking good deal i bought it on amazon and you guys it's like they give you everything that you need in this set and it's so affordable and the polish is really well done i know you can get like some with a bunch of like really out there colors but i got a bunch of like neutrals and it's like i don't even need to buy other polish like i have every neutral i'd pretty much need in this set so definitely worth the money but something that i've been kind of obsessing over is on Instagram, I'm seeing all of these cat eye nails. If you guys aren't familiar with like cat eye stone or like, you know, that mood ring kind of look. For me, it is like so entrancing. I like cannot stop looking at it. So I finally decided to pick up some cat eye nail polish. These are the Mitzi's. Um, I will leave them linked down below, but you get like six different shades to play with. Now you can use these just on their own and that's when you're gonna get more of that jelly kind of translucent cat eye look. But I actually put them over a polish. So I'll leave a close up of my nails. I just did them over the weekend and I just can't stop looking at them. Super easy to use. You just apply them and then they actually come with a magnet and you can just move the magnet around and then all of the little glitters in here start to move around and you can get a bunch of different kind of looks like you can do more of like a horizontal kind of striped kind of cat eye look but i like to just you know do more of that like opal kind of like moonstone kind of look it is very very pretty to play with so if you have a uv lamp or if you're interested in a product like this uh i would highly recommend these for hair care this is a product that i've heard everyone talk about for a very long time i never bought it because i'm like oh my gosh like how how good can it really be like it's not the cheapest hair oil out there but you guys know that i've been investing a lot more time money just in general spending more time taking care of my hair so i picked up the gizu honey infused hair oil and i absolutely love it um i think it's one of the best that i've ever tried honestly and i was using before the olaplex uh, bonding oil that one is just too it was not rich enough for me so if you have thicker hair and you have dry ends and you really want to add that shine this is one of the best that I've tried I also love the one from Moroccan oil like their argon oil I think is really beautiful but this definitely rivals it and I mean time will tell if I like this even more I love the smell by the way just like salon it doesn't even really smell like super honey sweet at all it's just more of like that really good hair kind of smell but the only thing I don't like is the packaging and I think a lot of people have talked about that before just gets a little bit messy by the way this is the um the travel size super glad that i picked this up um it was definitely one of those items i was like oh, i don't know how it'll be so that's why i picked up the uh travel size but because this is so rich you really don't need a lot and i feel as though like this is going to last a long time so if you're interested um i feel like the travel size is a good bang for your buck little dry spot over here it's like really bugging me. You know what? Let's do a skincare item. This is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Intensive Wash Off Mask. This is one of the most impressive face masks I have ever used. If you are a fan of snail mucin, you have seen good results with this. I highly recommend putting this on your radar because holy crap, 
it's it's seriously it's one of the best masks I have ever used I have seen such incredible results reducing my redness uh, making my skin heal faster if I have a breakout I just find that it takes my skin back to a very stable place it is skin barrier loving it is brightening it is hydrating on the skin and this is actually a new one but i find that the texture is also so interesting this is gonna sound very bizarre but if you've ever opened like an ice pack like you know those ice packs with like the gel inside and you so happen to like have opened one or one has exploded on you it has the same texture as that. I hate to compare it to something that like you wouldn't want to put on your face. It's just to say that it's more of a gel texture that really um, glides on the skin. It's very easy to work with and it stays where you put it, which I really, really love. I also like the moisturizer from Peach Slices, um, the snail one. If you are interested in that, I have really enjoyed that. But this product I think is so incredible. And also it is 95% snail mucin. This to me is like such an excellent uh, bang for your buck product. It's also very affordable. Okay, cheek product, Benetton from Benefit. I have a bunch of the colors, but I wanted to speak specifically about Benetton because that's the one that I have on my cheeks today. I also love Cha Cha Tint. I love the Love Tint, Go Go Tint. I, I think they're all really beautiful. I want to recommend this product in specific for those of you, you know, going into the summer months. If you're like, Amanda, I really like the way that cream cheek products look, lip stains, uh, cheek stains. If that's what you like to use, you like those really lightweight products for the summer on your skin, this will give you the most beautiful cheek look without all of the extra emollients, without it being a really heavy product. It just melts down into the skin and it's not one of those difficult to work with cheek products because I find that some of them dry down too fast and then you're kind of left with blotchy, like a blotchy stained kind of look. This is incredibly easy to work with. I mean, the texture is very watery, so you know, keep that in mind, but just taking the applicator, like I'll apply more right now for you guys. Just taking a little bit onto the cheeks like that, pressing your finger and tapping it in, it just melts right in. Melts right into the skin. And it's not adding extra emollients, it's just adding that gorgeous color and it lasts really well too. But if there is a specific color that tickles your fancy, um, I think that they are worth looking into. We have three lip liners that I wanted to mention. All three of these I've really been enjoying. Um, let's first talk about the, the Sephora Contour Gel Lip Liner. And this is the shade The Nudist 01. And one of you recommended me try this out and I love it. It is a really beautiful, more like, Purp, like very, very light purpley gray kind of contour color. So if you have very fair lips, this is a really good color to overline with because it doesn't lean too chocolatey. So if you're super fair and you are looking for something, um, this one is really good. Um, the texture is again, more of a gel lip liner texture. It's the most creamy gel texture out of the ones I'm about to talk about, um, but it lasts really well. The formula I think is good. It's uh, definitely more affordable but the color I think is super special. I also picked up the shade Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever and I love this one as well. It is, it just has such a nice glide. I guess I was expecting because this is more of a pencil that this was going to be something closer to like the MAC lip liners, but I think it has more glide than those do. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, it's just a little bit deeper than something like Pillow Talk, for example. Um, maybe a touch more brown, but I just find it to be absolutely stunning. Great wear time will pretty much go with any lip look that I already have going on. So certainly one that I enjoy. And I like that it has a little bit more glide than the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip pencils. This one just feels a little bit creamier, but you know, still precise because you can, you know, sharpen it to an edge. Even though I'm not sure this would last as long as the Lip Cheat formula, I do think that sometimes ease of use trumps 
like wear a time like you know when you're just having one of those days where you need the makeup to apply really easily because this has more glide i just find that it's sometimes easier to work with but you know to each their own um i think that this product is really great though and then the last lip liner is from makeup by mario and this is the shade it's the ultra suede sculpting lip pencil and this is the shade toasty now this is such a good lip liner and it's the one that i'm wearing today I would say that this formula is quite similar to the Makeup Forever, but I wanna say that this one has a little bit more grip to it and so many colors to choose from. Also a lot of different colors to choose from with the Makeup Forever as well. But this I just find is like that perfect formula. Like it has the ease of use, but I think it lasts a touch longer than the ones from Makeup Forever. This shade is great because it's a little bit more of like a rosy brown, um, which I really like um, to define the lips. I like to stick with more like touches of rose. Like that's at least my comfort zone. Obviously like, you know, trying out this lip liner, the nudist from uh, Sephora, I'm like, damn, like I gotta be trying out some different colors but Toasty is definitely in um, my comfort zone, but I like that it has a little bit more brown to it. Really nice to kind of give you a little bit more uh, definition on the lips, a little bit more sculpt and contour. I'm excited to have three new lip liners that I really, really enjoy. You guys also know I love the um, e.l.f. Love Triangle lip pencils as well. And that, my friends, is everything. I know it was a lot, because I mean, it's like, it's a couple months of favorites, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will leave everything that I talked about linked down below for you guys. Thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.